I'd like to take a look a little bit at a multi-strobe setup. Now this can vary incredibly depending on what model strobe, camera system you're using. So we'll talk a little bit just about the theory behind it. We've got a master flash and then one set up as a slave. If I look at these, both of these together, I can see this one here says it's the master and this one here is saying it's the slave. And it also says that it's the slave in group B. It also tells me that it's firing on channel one. So those are things that I'll want to pay attention to for later on. So now I've got this guy pointed at me, ready to, uh, ready to go off, ready to receive. And in the menu, what I'll want to do in my camera, and again, we'll show you this on the Canon, but we'll try to keep it generic so that no matter what one you're, you're going to use, you can find it. In general, I'll go from automatic flash to manual or multi. You'll see that depending on the camera model you have. So mine says ETTL. If you have Nikon, it might not say that. If you have Sony, it'll say something different. But in general, I'm going to do multi-flash. So it's asking me how it wants to translate the signal. I'm using optical. It has to be line of sight. I don't have an RF flash hooked up. And then I've got a few other things. I see this A and B group. So I actually can use A, B, or even A, B, C if I'm using three flashes. So I can control the power of up to three different groups. I'm going to leave it on A, B because that's what I'm doing right now. And that's a lot of camera manufacturers are sticking with two groups. So I've got the power of A to be 1 8th power and then the power of B to be 1 64th. Now, I don't need the master flash to fire either. And that's something else that is fairly universal. Most cameras will allow you to do this. You can actually go in here and disable the master flash from firing. So the only thing this flash is doing is telling the other one to fire. So now if I hold this down, you still will see a flash because the other flash fired even though the one on top of my camera did not. Some cameras even have a built-in transmitter now that you don't need to have a flash on the top in order to make it work. You can actually just signal other flashes to work. And they also make things that attach to the top of your camera, flash transmitters, that will only transmit and they're not flashes themselves. So if you want to trigger other flashes, you can do that. So it's a great way to get the flash off your camera. So there's lots of cool things you can do with this. We can set this up anywhere as backlight, as a secondary light, as the fill light, as the hair light, whatever we want it to do. And we use this one as a master and this one as a slave. And then in the camera, we can actually adjust what the ratio of power is going to be for each one. Now, some of them you'll adjust it on the flash itself, and some of them you'll adjust it in the camera. But those are the general things that you'll want to look out for when you're starting to set up your multi-strobe setup.